Hey guys, my name is Zach Ferguson, and this channel is all about helping you guys reach your tricking goals. I may not be the best tricker, but hopefully my experience can help you become the best. Today what we're doing is we're turning five tricks into five combos. This was requested sort of by one of my students, Gabriel, and what happened was he hit me up on Instagram and asked me for a couple different combos and I told him to give me five tricks and I would turn them into combos for him. He gave me the five tricks and then I left him for like a week without saying anything. So I felt bad. So <laughs> what I did was uh, I made examples and I turned it into a video for him so that um, tomorrow on Easter I can give it to him and be like, you know, sorry bro. So hopefully this will help you guys also. The tricks he asked for were tornado, hook, butterfly kick, cartful, and Valdez. So what I did was mix them up a bunch of different ways, kind of whatever seemed like the most natural or what worked with good openers and finishers. There's multiple other ways that these tricks can be combined, but these are the five combos that I came up with. And quick disclaimer, cartwheel and full twist are two different tricks. But for the purposes of this video, they're gonna be one trick because that's what he asked for. So for those of you who are a little more experienced, I just created kind of like a little sampler at the beginning of all of the combos. So you guys can watch that sampler and get some ideas if you want to. Uh, maybe leave a comment and let me know some other different types of combos that you would have made with these. But if you are interested in the breakdown, that's gonna be after that little short sampler. It's about a minute, two minutes of all the different combos. Each of the combos is filmed from a different angle so that way you guys get the best perspective. Without further ado, sit back, hit the like button, and watch the sampler, and I'll return right afterwards to break it down. All right, my dudes, time for the breakdown. So this is gonna be completely unscripted, so I'm sorry if it's a little informal. I started with the tornado kick because it's a very good combo opener. It's pretty simple and hook kick kind of is a natural thing to come after a round kick motion. Um, for butterfly kicks, especially out of a hook kick, it's really hard for me to make it look like a B kick. So I really focus on keeping my head up. As you can see, I keep my head down a little bit on this anyway, but it's not a big deal. Um, for this one specifically, we are doing a Valdez as the end, so I try really hard to go out in my cart full. Whenever I try to do pop flash or Valdez or a similar motion, I try to kind of lean into that cart full uh, so that I cover as much distance as possible so that it's easy to transition into the Valdez. Same combo again. Uh, I step over and I focus on keeping my round kick sharp. It's really hard for me to round kick in jumping kicks for some reason, especially vert kicks like tornadoes. I tend to inside crescent, but um, either way, this B kick was a little bit better just because I really shot my head up more. Leaning into the cartwheel again is paramount. You can see from this angle a little better how much I throw my chest into the cart full. I really focus not on height, but on distance and momentum going backwards. Still had to squat a little bit, but what you wanna do is focus on extension for that Valdez. 
Valdez is a one hand back handspring and I'm kind of opening my body almost sideways like a macaco, just like on this one. I'm kind of opening sort of like a macaco, but then I really go backwards. So I count it as a Valdez because if I snap down, it would look like one. Anyway, in this combo, it's Valdez to butterfly kick. I really like this transition, especially if you split your legs because right leg to uh, butterfly kick is a really easy combo. Then uh, I come out of it into my tornado kick and I go straight for a hook. I like to think of combos as pieces. So each one of these is five tricks. So I kind of think um, Valdez butterfly kick period, tornado, hook, cart full. It really helps me remember the combo when I'm doing it. So like I was saying, I sit, swing, and jump like I'm in a back handspring, but then I turn a little sideways and I split. So that way it's still a Valdez, uh, but a little more comboable, especially into a butterfly kick. Coming out of the butterfly kick into the tornado is a little weird because I never do that transition, but you just have to step over again and it's not that hard. Like I was saying in the last one, my kicks aren't the best, so I apologize for any uh, bleeding eyes, but uh, they're serviceable at least and I can use some momentum. Cartful is a really good finishing trick. That's why a lot of people use cartful, cart double full, cart triple full, or full variations for the end of their combos. The next combo starts with a hook kick, it goes straight into butterfly kick, and then cart full. This one I remember being really difficult for me because I was trying to vanish it at first and it just didn't work. So when I did cart full vanish tornado, it automatically turned into a nine. So what I did was I brought my leg up like I was gonna swing through and then I stepped over for the tornado kick. This will be a lot easier for everyone to do, so you want to think of it like a swing through and then turn. The transition from the Tornado to the Valdez on this is also pretty difficult, um, so it'll help if you keep your round kick leg really extended when you're doing it because it'll like make you turn your body backwards to your direction of momentum and then it'll be easier to throw the Valdez. I'll show you what I mean on this next combo. So, hook. B kick, I focused on keeping my head up so it was really sideways and not an aerial. Then I lean into the cartwheel pretty hard, uh, but this time I'm focusing on height because I want to have enough time to think about the transition. So I try to go a little higher, I spot the ground immediately, and I treat it like I'm going to swing through. I obviously didn't get my chest up enough, but you can see I started lifting. Then I step over into my tornado kick, and then for the last one, again, my feet are a little close together, but if you keep your feet wide, it makes it a lot easier. So that's what I'd recommend, especially on this one. It was a little rough. As you can see, it can be a two leg Valdez too. I'm trying to remember what this last combo is. Hook, Tornado. Ah, Valdez, so the same transition as before. Hook, Tornado, Valdez. And then it's gonna be B kick, Cartful, got it. So again on this, you can see how it kind of turned into an aerial. That was a little accidental because I'm just flowing with the combo. Either way, this is a pretty solid combo. There's not really anything specific to talk about on this one. Uh, you start with a hook to tornado, so that's not too difficult of a combo. Again, think about it in pieces. So on this one, I'm, I'm thinking hook, tornado, Valdez, because you gotta keep your hips squared to your direction of momentum, like to backwards, to make the Valdez flow easily. So keep your legs wide. I clearly am not in these but keep your legs wide and land in the biggest stance you can when you end because you'll naturally fall backwards onto it. 
This one again, it's so much easier than I made it on myself. But again, it's like something to do with my hips. I'm just not that flexible. So every time I try to round kick in a tornado, it messes me up. But that's definitely what I recommend for you guys. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this is the last one. It starts with cart full, and then I believe you pop Valdez out of it. Yep. Again, splitting my legs, Valdez doesn't have to be two-legged always. You can land tricks different ways. I remember this one specifically was a little difficult to go into the tornado out of, so sorry for the ugly tornado. I remember this bug was also photobombing, so what's up, bug? Anyway, um, butterfly kick is a finish of this. Butterfly kick is not necessarily a trick that many people finish with, but if you do it well enough or you do butter knife or something, it can look really cool. I just stuck to exactly what tricks Gabe gave me, so. All right, so open with cart full. On this one specifically, again, I'm trying to transition to the Valdez, so I'm focusing on going out. This is pulling my momentum backwards, so when I land, all I have to do is lean backwards and stick my arm out, and it happens for me. And then for the tornado, I have to spot my target to make sure that I don't lose where I am, and then I kick right at the target, hook at the target, and then I know this is the finisher, so my goal is to do the best B kick I can. I really lift my head up, get my legs backwards, and that's a wrap. So anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Please support me on my quest to a thousand subs by subscribing right now. Hit the like button, it'll help me out a lot. And please leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of tutorial or video you want me to do next. Uh, until next time, please stay safe and healthy and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys.